Hi, I'm Walt. And I'm Stacy. We're both from Michigan Virtual. We're former teachers and instructional coaches. I would even venture to say we're veterans. I think so. We have a friend though, who's a brand new teacher named Kelly, and she's provided us some artificial intelligence tutorials that we're about to watch together and comment on. So this is a fun, lighthearted interaction, and we hope you enjoy it and maybe get some ideas for how you might use these tools in the classroom. Hello, today we'll be going over Brisk Teaching, which is an AI Chrome extension for teachers to use. Upon entering the website, you can um, just kind of mess around with it and see what it does um, using these Try It buttons. Um, so there's a bunch of different features that teachers might find helpful, like rubric generators, um, a presentation maker, a resource maker, a quiz maker, a syllabus generator, um, etc. So um, here at the top are just some educator favorites, um, which I can show you. Um, so I'm just going to do this try it button um, and here, here it is down here. Um, so I'm going to say give feedback targeted um, and I am going to say write the feedback in English for fourth grade. Um, let's just say grammar. And here it's generating feedback and it's making comments as myself and I have the ability to comment it or cancel it depending on how I feel it suits what the, what I want to tell the students. This is amazing. It would have saved me so much time when I think about grading and students who turned in their work through a Google Drive and in the Google Classroom. It's just a huge time saver. Here we can make a presentation. So we can add slides in English. We can change to whatever template we want. Let's say shapes. Um, let's say the Declaration of Independence. Sixth grade, 10 slides with images. And now it's going to create a presentation for me. So here we go, it has created a presentation for me to use about the Declaration of Independence. Of course, I can go in and edit it if I want, and I can ask it to add on more things, depending on what I think would be best for my students. And last, it can create a quiz. So here is where you might want to use it on any website. Um, so you can say create a quiz on this website. Um, 10 questions for sixth grade. You could do a Google form or a Google doc. A 10 question quiz. Again, you can rewrite it or ask it to add on. More difficult, less difficult. Um, you can ask for an answer key, or I can go in and edit it myself. I think this would be wonderful to use with students, the question part of this particular tool, in order to get them to think about questions before they're reading the passage. For those students who may struggle with comprehension, this would be a good way to have ideas in mind as they're reading through to look for. So I think it's a 